Today on the spec show, I'm going to discuss with you the multi-force airbags. We're actually going to perform a lift on a dump truck utilizing the multi-force bag. Okay, today in order to do this lift on this dump truck, I'm going to introduce you to some of the components we're going to be starting with. First is the multi-force bag. This bag has a 25 inch lift capacity at 31 tons. It's also got a telescoping handle that you can release. And all that is is for positioning of the airbag so you don't have to be under the load as you're placing the bag. In order to perform the lift, you'll also need a single controller. This single controller is 150 PSI. It works on any of the new airbags. The new airbags have gone from the 118 PSI to 150 PSI. This allows for greater lift utilizing the bags. You'll also need a regulator. The regulator hooks directly to the bottle and you'll need two hoses that supply from the bottle, from the regulator, to the controller and then the controller to the bag. You'll also need two air hoses. The air hoses will complete the, the circuit from the bottle to the bag. You'll also need a spare bottle or you could utilize any air off of your truck. The manufacturer also recommends using a relief valve just for the safety of the bag. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to release the telescoping handle. I'm going to pull the lever, lift it out, pull down. So now we have fully extended the telescoping handle. You can also see the airbag has two yellow lines. What these lines are for is they provide a quick eye reference for placement of this airbag. So now that we have it hooked up and ready to go, our handle's out, we take the airbag, we slide it forward until it's centered under our load. Lay the handle down and we're ready to lift. As with any other lifting operation, we need to capture with a secondary means of capture. Today we're going to utilize the Paratech struts as our secondary means of capture. Now that our airbag is placed, we're ready to lift. First thing we need to do is turn the bottle on. So now you can see we have air on the bottle, on the regulator. Then we'll set our gauge. We're going to set that to 150. The new regulators have an on-off switch. Okay, In order to lift and let air go to our controller, we need to turn it to the on position. Our controller now has air, so our bag is ready to lift. Now that we have air on the controller, the way this operates is green lifts, red will lower. All that does is put air into the bag or take air out or allow air out. Before we do any lifting, we want to make sure all of our collars are locked. I've already locked these. All they are is a quick twist. Another piece of this puzzle is the inline relief valve. We're going to place this inline relief valve on the controller side. It's going to be attached to the hose. Okay, That's one option to place it. The second option to place it is on the bag itself. The only time you would do that is if you're limited on hoses. Keep in mind that placing the relief valve directly on the airbag places you under the load. Now we're going to perform the lift. I want you to keep in mind that our conventional thoughts on how we lift is surface contact. That doesn't apply as much to this airbag because it's got an 11 inch aluminum plate in there. So our contact will actually never change. With any other lift, make sure as we lift, we crib. Another option is to build a crib tower and hand place the airbag on top of the crib tower centered under your load. Now I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on the use of a multi-force bag with a passenger vehicle lift. We've already got step chalks in place and all secondary means of capture established. Left. Stop. 
as you can see, we've got a good amount of lift out of the airbag and the vehicle is stable. So today on the spec show, we've, we've talked about the multi-force airbag. I've given you a few different options on lifting. We lifted a heavy vehicle such as a dump truck and we also saw the speed and versatility of, a passenger, of using it on a passenger vehicle. For more information on this type of training, visit us at specrescue.com. For Spec Rescue International, I'm Randy Jernigan.